Hey, it's day 183 of Hey, What Are You Doing Today? Um, I'll try to piece this this one together. Uh, I've got a couple things that are, that, are, that are on my mind that I'd like to like to mention in this one and um, but I'll start with this uh, it's, it's you know I, as, I, as I take notes every day this is one of the notes that came to me this morning uh, came back to me you know I, I hear it on a pretty regular basis but uh, but it, 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 and just continuing with that that idea of uh, uh, emptying the cup so that it can it can it can be filled again um, the 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 phrase the the note I had today was a uh, be willing to let anything happen um, and, and and just as simple as that sounds just be open for me it, it means just to be open to anything you know to, to, don't for me it's not not uh, not not going anything with any kind of preconceived notion or judgment or criticism um, uh, you, I guess in, in, in some regards it, it means that for me that um, where I never know where something's going to come from, you know. I never know where the next great piece of information, or the great piece of motivation, or um, the thing that changes my life. It, it could come from anywhere. And if I go into something with kind of a closed, uh, you know, tunnel vision on something, I, I, I might walk right past it, you know, in 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 the life. And the, the reason I bring this up, the, I was thinking about this yesterday. That, that what I what I wanted to talk about, I had taken a note. And then I had taken another note, and I, they 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 fell right in line, and it was it was just a, a a funny funny way that they fell in my notes. But when I was running yesterday, um, I was listening to Fifty Cent, which uh, again I'm I'm not a big rap fan by any means, um, but uh, but there's there's something about that 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 beat that. Uh, that I just felt like running to it. I run to all different kinds of music. I run to jazz, you know. I run to heavy metal, you know, whatever. But anyway, I was listening to Fifty Cent, and the line was, um, "The days go by," you know, and it's kind of a kind of a in that 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 frame of mind, almost kind of reflecting that zombie, uh, that zombie way of living. You know, the days go by, they go by, they go by, they go by, and you know, it's just just time passing and and Nothing occurring, you know, no achievements, no, you know, just kind of that frame of mind. So I wrote that down as a note, just to remember that feeling that, you know, the day I can let the days go by, or I can I can actively pursue something, I can actively do something, and um, but it was it was funny that you know that that came from him. I'm listening to Fifty Cent, and then the very next note came from uh, I'm reading Ernest Shackleton, a, a book on the the, the Shackleton uh, voyage. Uh, that uh, went horribly wrong in the Antarctic in the uh, in the uh, late 1910s. I think it was around 1915 he started. Um, and uh, you know the interesting thing is all the guys that are here, they're basically their ship has just been destroyed by a pack of ice. It's just been crushed. It was frozen in this ice, and the ice kept creeping in until it finally just destroyed it <laughs> destroyed everything. So they're they're floating around on this big you know who knows how many miles long block of ice just floating around the the the, the, the southern Antarctic region. You know no no ties to anybody and it's keeping you know that just a mind-boggling to me this is the you know the the the, the early 1900s you know so there's nothing <laughs> they had nobody people know where they're kind of at but you have nothing you have no way to you know so they're they're facing this imminent you know death you know they've they've got their their ship has been destroyed you know they're out in the cold they're they're wet they're there's i believe there was about 30 of them um i don't know the exact number somewhere between 20 and 30 men and oddly enough, they're enjoying it. They're, they they've found this peace, this this tranquility. At least this is kind of what the the book is lending to. There's not nobody's kind of like, oh, this is this sucks, you know, that kind of thing. They're just kind of they're 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 willing to let anything happen. And by being willing to let anything happen, staying active and those kind of things, it, it, it keeps their mind fresh. And one of the guys' journals, which uh, which was the note that directly followed the days go by, uh, fifty cents notion, you know, the days go by was this guy's journal and he says uh you know something along the lines of uh um uh this has been one of the greatest days yet it's a pleasure to be alive and i'm thinking you know wow just the just the, the perspective you know we can as people we can live in that kind of zombie lifestyle where we're kind of disheartened disheartened you know things aren't um uh going the, the way we want them to be um whatever you know just kind of 
kind of feeling downtrodden, kind of feeling taken over by our by our lack of control in the world, uh, 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 or we can I can be like the guy that's out there just stuck in the middle of nowhere, you know, with with nothing but demise and destruction and, and all kinds of disheartening things and things that I've got to deal with. But if I'm willing to let anything happen, it could be a pleasure to be alive. You know, it could be one of the best days ever, and that's. Just that that simple entity um, that, 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 of that thought is, is just such a powerful thing. Um, as I as I went around yesterday, I started really tr paying attention to things, and that's kind of one of the things that I'm, I'm trying to change my perspective with is just keeping my eyes open at all time, constantly observing whether that be people, interactions with people, nature, things that are going on, the way things function, the way things move, whatever it is, um, I, I'm, I'm paying much more attention and pulling myself out of that zombie state. And two things I noted, one was the sky. I was looking at the sky yesterday and it was like the first time I ever saw the sky. It was just mind boggling. It was, you know, nothing it was a, a, a simple kind of, you know, big clouds in the air, sunny day, beautiful day. But looking at it and just seeing how big and how massive the, the atmosphere is above my head every day. And every day I walk underneath it and, and I never really pay attention to it. I never really look at it. And I looked up and it was just, like I, like I, like I said, it was just kind of, it felt like the very first time, you know, I'd ever noticed it. And it was so powerful. I just kind of sat there and stared at it. And as goofy as that sounds, it's, it's, they're, 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 they're everything to me everything can be experienced again for the first time because maybe I've never experienced it maybe I never had my eyes open the other element that I noticed was yesterday I started uh, I decided to pay a little bit more attention I've been I've been actively trying to focus on eye contact and, and what that does and, and and how that changes my world um, I think you know I, I a lot of people in this world not I would uh, um, part of a part of the group that uh, you know there's something there's there's an avoidance that uh, that occurs in eye contact you know it's uh for whatever reason and and that's a really peculiar thought that came into my head yesterday i was noticing that as i the, the people that i did make eye contact with and um and they were comfortable with that eye contact there was immediately a smile um and and it may have been coming from from my sense of well-being my sense of uh of uh, uh, you know accepting the world as it was, but there was a, it immediately released a smile in them, and it was such a beautiful thing. Um, and then the other the other element that was uh, that was interesting was um, that uh, I noticed that probably ninety percent of the people that excuse me. Um, about 90% of the people that I attempted to make eye contact with um, kind of shunned me, kind of, uh, you know, went out of their way to, to look down or look away or um, I could sense their their uncomfort. And, I, and the, the peculiar thing is, where does that come from? I was thinking, you know, in my mind, I was thinking, wow, I'm, I'm passing another human being. I'm passing a person that's sharing the same struggle that I'm in, that, that, that sharing the, the same experiences that, that, that I have going on. Um, I'm sure, we're all different. We're all, you know, we're, we're all coming from different backgrounds, and and so and our struggles are different in different ways. But ultimately, it's the same struggle. It's the same, you know, it's 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 life and understanding it and, and the things that we're dealing with. You know, each each one of us have our own individual story. I don't want to take away from that um, and and our individual elements. But where is it uh, that that we as human beings pulled away from each other? Um, where is it that that we had that discord where uh, you know we we don't rejoice in each other? We don't you know looking into each other reflect and 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 and, and notice that we are all of the same in, in, in some regards. We are you know uh, you know it's a, to me yesterday and I, and hopefully I can maintain this feeling as I pass people. I started looking at them. And I, I rejoiced in the fact that, that, that they're there, uh, which is a totally new feeling to me um, and totally new outlook. And, and at the same time, that comes back to be willing to let anything happen. And that can be good, bad, whatever when I, when I say that to myself. When I say be willing to let anything happen, I was thinking, you know, I was driving to work and I was like, you know, I'm... I, I'm willing to let a car accident happen. You know, I hate to say that. You know, it's a, a terrible thing. Um, but the reason I mention that is sometimes I've noticed that 
the best parts, the, the best things that I've learned, or you know, the 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 things that have come into my life that were the most powerful or the most valuable, sometimes they come from these bad things. Uh, sometimes you know, I have to experience these these the. the the downside to get the upside and that's a whole that, that, that kind of all of this ties into some 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 way shape or form at the Taoism of course but um, but if I'm willing to let anything happen and I'm totally open and totally accepting um, then when something does happen and it, and it is a, a big deal and it's a big heavy weight and I can't handle it kind of thing all of a sudden I believe now I will be able to handle it I, I believe I will be instead of actively you know, in the situation, actively seeking, um, actively, you know, looking at what's hitting me, I'm going to actively look at what I might be missing and what's what's out there that's uh, that's that that's coming at me, that's around me. You know, I'll be like that that uh, those those twenty or thirty guys stuck in the middle of nowhere on a on a block of ice, floating across the uh, the ocean, no idea what where they're going or you know uh, you know how how things are going to turn out, but but totally willing to let it happen so that. Uh, so that something else might come. So, anyway, I think I, I think I covered everything I wanted to talk about today. So, yeah, that's day one eighty three. Hey, what are you doing today? Thanks.